got in the kitchen today, so normally we're doing clothes and fashion, um, but no, we've got this you is very chefing. similar though because it's a day to night dish. So this is called yuck sung. So you day to night dish. Kind of day to night because I'm going to do the, the base of the dish, which is the mince. I'm going to do it. I'm going to serve it three different ways. You can have it for lunch. You can have it for dinner. Okay. You can have it the morning after room mm. if you fancy. Mm. Uh, I'm going to jump straight in because we've got loads to do. So it's called okay. yuck sung. It's, a, it's normally a chicken or a pork based dish, but I'm going to make it with prawns. So and does yuck sung? How does that translate? Yuck sung. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm from Leicester. <laughs> so, basically, <laughs> basically, we're going to put some vegetable oil in the pan. Now, I've got here the three degrees to begin with. We've yeah. got garlic, ginger and chilli. So, that's the base to most Chinese food. We're going to whack in some red onion. It's already been diced up. The reason why it's all prepped is because Chinese food is all about the prep. Yeah. Every single time. If you can do your prep beforehand, it's going to make it so much well, easier. It's so quick when you cook, isn't it? You haven't got so time to be quick. chopping something over here because that's all cooking. Absolutely, because right? it's going yeah. through. And normally you would sweat down your onions. You don't do that in Chinese food. So here we've got ginger, garlic, chilli and some spring onion all going in to a dish. And instantly, the aroma start make, make, makes you feel like you're in China straight yeah. away. So all the way through, cook that through. You want to release all the oils. Now I'm going to throw in cucumber, yeah. celery, Water chestnuts, bamboo shoots, and some fresh peas. There's a lot of stuff in there. All in. Can you imagine how healthy that is? Who actually well, taught... I mean, I know your parents had a restaurant, but who actually taught you to cook? Uh, my dad. Yes. So when we were brought up... Uh, I mean, the social services have had something to say about it now, because we were literally two or three years old and we were in the restaurant. Yes. And so food has always been a massive, mm. massive part of our, our lives, basically. So this, for me, feels really normal. Actually, probably more normal than clothes, mm. if I'm very honest with you. Right, so you've got all this cooking through. I'm now going to throw in... Some shouting, which is basically the spirit. So you would normally use, you would normally use um, like a cooking sherry. Well, this mm. is a Chinese version of that. You want to get rid of some of the alcohol. Now, all of our seasonings. So, you ready for this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oyster sauce, a dash. Then we're going to have light and dark soy. Light soy is for flavour. Dark soy is for colour. In there, like Didn't that. Know that. Then we're going to have put in our fish sauce, which is made of anchovies, which is actually a Thai thing that's used across all Asian food. Mm. Very salty. And then we're just going to cook that through. And the there. wok cooking, the wok gets so hot, doesn't so it? So hot. Basically, what you want to do, so the, cook, the wok is split into two different areas. The outside of the wok is for um, basically slow cooking, and the centre is for all your frying and your boiling. Right, so all of that's in you now. You must have, and all the things that you've endorsed or whatever, you must have had a gok wok. Do you know what? I, just, I very nearly had a gok wok. Yeah. Too much. But then, uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Would you like a gok wok? I think it would do very well. I'd, I'd buy a gok wok. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, well, listen, watch this space. It might yeah. happen. Uh, we're going to cook all this through. We're going to add in some cashew nuts and some chives as well. That's basically our ingredients. But what I am going to do, because you would normally leave that for about another two minutes, because we're running out of time, mm -hmm. I am going to put that one there. I'm going to whack that pan on because I've got some mixture I made earlier. OK. Yeah. yeah? Do, you cook okay. Up, do you cook a lot at home? Every day. Every single day. Really important food is to me. Yeah. Uh, it brings the families together. It, 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 I, it allows me to celebrate my life, give gifts to people, the people I work with. I love it. Now, this is normally how you would have it served. This is deep-fried vermicelli. So it's the vermicelli rice noodles. You just deep-fry it. It's not the healthiest version, but you would have that in a Chinese restaurant on top, and then you would break it down. Nest. Bird's nest, mm. yeah. And then you would put some chives on top, and then you would put some cashew nuts. A healthier version is to serve it, the same mixture, just inside the these lettuce leaves, lettuce leaves just there. Those, of course you can. Try this, and just put some of this on. Oh, she's Ooh, in there I'm already. In, I'm in. Hold on, hold on. Maybe put some chives in. Now, while you're both trying that, mm. I'm now going to put some dumplings on using exactly the same mix. Yeah. Pre-made just but here. But serving them up differently. Serving them up differently. Mm. 